Well, I'm all geared up and ready to go. This is so cool. You have got to see this. As soon as I hit the ocean, I can see Aquarius directly beneath me in the clear water. It's almost like a submarine that doesn't move. But unlike a submarine, the pressure inside Aquarius is the same as the pressure outside. So even though there's an open hatch at the bottom of the habitat, water doesn't go in. This allows people to go in and out of Aquarius as much as they like. Which is totally awesome! So this is it, the Aquarius. Amazing. I can come right in through an open hole in the floor, and yet the water stays out. That's cool. Now, time for a shower. You have to shower before you go inside the Aquarius because really they don't want salt water and everything. I mean, we might be underwater, but this is civilized. So the Aquarius, you can think of it as basically like a big school bus with no seats in it. It's sort of like a long tube and everything is spread throughout that tube. At this end, behind this power door, is the front porch. And that's, yeah. that's where I came inside. We like to keep that closed because uh, it's quite humid in there and, and it's air conditioned in here. Now the next feature you'll find right inside the front door here is the bathroom. There's your bathroom. You get your privacy curtain. Um, you know, it's a pretty small bathroom, but gets the job done. And of course, right across over here, a sink. And of course, some laboratory equipment, you know, just in case you need to do some biological studies. And then we come down a little further. We have a computer. Well, you, you gotta be able to get on the internet even when you're underwater, I mean, come on. So here, in the middle of the Aquarius, we have the kitchen, or what you would call on a boat, the galley. So if you come in here, we've got the sink, and we have a sort of a place to eat, a kitchen table, if you will, and a picture window. But unlike your picture window at home, this picture window looks out on a coral reef with fish swimming by. Where's the fish? Come here, fishies. And the last part, down here at the far end, this would be sort of like the back of the school bus. You have six bunks all stacked up together. You can see there's not a lot of space in here. In fact, if you're sleeping, you only have about a foot and a half from your head to the next bunk up. It's pretty tight, but it's cozy and it's dry. And you can't beat the view out the window at the foot of the bed. So now you might be wondering, what do you eat down here? Well, they eat sort of like astronauts. Uh, it's freeze-dried food. If you're a camper, you might have used some of this stuff. You rip the package open, you put hot water in it, you let it sit for a while, and then you can eat it right out of the package. They don't really have a lot of facilities for cooking. They have a microwave, and they have hot water, and that's about it. There's no stove, there's no oven. Some of the food that gets brought down in very uh, tight containers gets compressed with the pressure down here. So this is something that was fully inflated at the surface, but once it gets brought down here to 50 feet, the pressure in here squishes it down, and that's what it ends up looking like. And you can feel the pressure all around you, even though you don't really feel like you're under pressure, the air that we're breathing is a little bit more dense because it's compressed. And several things happen. My voice sounds a little funny to me, but on top of that, it's really hard to whistle. There we go. Even though the scientists are out scuba diving, there are always two technicians in Aquarius maintaining the life support, fixing little things that break, monitoring the various systems, and keeping track of the divers. While technician Mark Hulsbeck is giving me an introduction to the life support systems, we're being watched by someone on shore. 